and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D and Bob. We're going to be doing a whole slew of reviews on products out here on the patio and this is just to give you some information on these particular items, how they work, if they don't work, all that kind of stuff like that. And uh, after each video down in the comment block, you'll see a link to where the purchase was taking place. And also at the end, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So sit back, enjoy. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Hello and welcome to On the Patio with Mr. D. Hey, today we're going to do something really cool. Uh, this is for kayaking people that have a, either a sit on top or a sit in inflatable. Now, I've been having all kinds of problems getting my GoPros and videos and all this stuff to stay steady on an advanced element uh, kayak, mainly because there's no place to hook your cameras up, okay? And I understand why, I mean, it's an inflatable. Uh, so I had to come up and devise a way to make this work. One of the things that I've tried uh, over the, I don't know, past year or two, is to use a deck bag like this, or the big Seattle bag. And what I would do is take a Joby like this, and I would set it kind of like that. Now, if you notice, if you look at this, there's nothing holding that. They have a tendency to do this. And when you're on the water, you definitely don't want to have that. And especially if you're using electronic gimbals. Now, there's only one electronic gimbal out there that is uh, waterproof. I had it. It failed, so I went back to my Ho-Hem and my Yi, and they work fabulous, but the only danger is getting them wet. If they get wet, they're done, and at $160 a pop, uh, that's money lost. Also, on these electronic gimbals, unless you're using the GoPro Hero 5 Black, for instance, which is waterproof, without a case however the gimbal is not so a recent incident happened last week where another paddler was using one of my gimbal systems and it fell off now fortunately it fell to where the water line was right here and the motors got wet but the circuit board didn't so threw it into a bag of rice hoping that it would work out okay but I'm really tired of doing that kind of stuff. And uh, this, it gets expensive if these things get wet and you have to replace them. So, I had to figure out a way to be able to mount multiple gimbal cameras, like I'd want one here on the boat and I want one here on the boat, so I can get side activity, but I also want to be able to set this up in the center with a quick release system to where I can take my stills, uh, some camcorder video with a camcorder I have, but have that mount all of it on this. It's an impossible task, right? Well, I don't think so. Recently, Joby came out with the rig kit. This puts an additional two arms on the Joby and allows me, which I thought with this supplied strap, to be able to get a two point connection. Well, it turned out that this is a shoulder strap. So I said, okay, I'm gonna still make this work. So I had to do a little bit of MacGyvering and I think I've got it done. So in part one of this video, I'm gonna show you how I did it how I rigged it to the, the big Seattle deck bag and how I rigged it to the advanced elements deck bag. Now, 
Like I said, this is a two-part video, and the reason it's two-part, there's a lot to do here with the rigging system, and I'm going to walk you through all of that kind of stuff. And then I'm going to mount it on the kayak and water test it. And I did some preliminary work with this thing yesterday, and I was able to rig this thing up on the Seattle large deck bag and literally pick up the new rigged unit with the Joby 3K and lift it up and lift this bag up all at the same time. I think the uh, falling off problem that I have may have been solved. So what I'm going to do is to try this new system and it's called the Gorilla Pod Rig Upgrade. Now the upgrade is for people that already have a Joby uh, Gorilla Pod. Uh, 3k or 5k and I recommend the 3k because that's 6.6 .6 pounds I think it is is the max and then the 5k I think goes up to 11 pounds of, of uh, weight I would definitely recommend you getting the 3k if you're going to put your DSLR and a couple of uh, gimbal mounted uh, sport cameras on it so anyway I got this thing and the reason that I got this is I thought this based on the illustration I saw on uh, Amazon it had the straps coming out to the side like this and that's what I thought it was was well, actually they did a cutaway but the strap is I thought it was two straps but the strap is one piece and it's basically a shoulder strap now I didn't know that until it got here but I wanted to figure out okay now that I understand what that is and I want to be able to hook this up to the Seattle deck bag and have it secure where I don't have to worry about the cameras falling off. So first thing I want to do is talk about the setup and getting this thing set up. Now this is your mounting disc. So what you have to do is you have to remove this head. So you just reach down and grab it and unscrew it like this. Now you want your your mount So your camera will sit with the straps going this way across the bag. Now you can see that causes a problem because it puts the two arms right in front of the camera. But I'm going to show you how to fix that. So anyway, to put this thing on, you, what you do is you just now screw the your head on. Get it where you want it. And cinch it down pretty good. Don't be shy. And then get this to where this arm is accessible uh, to you when you're in your kayak. Now I'm going to turn it this way, mainly because it's going to be mounted like that. And I mount it where two legs are towards the rear and the front leg is towards the front. And you'll see why here in just a minute. So the next thing we're going to do is modify this strap. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. Oh, before I leave this section, you can see it comes with the mount. Comes with it looks like two cold shoe mounts, two extension arms, and a GoPro mount. Uh, I won't be using any of these things. I'll be using strictly the quarter twenties that are on the arms. So we're going to get this out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is, I found out this was a one-piece strap, as you can see here, and that wouldn't work for what I want to do. And I tried rigging it up. You can see it's got these uh, little clip things right here. I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I make this work? Because the way they have it working is you go up through here and then feed it through and then lock it. Now this is great for, for your shoulder, uh, you know, for working with your uh, a shoulder strap or something like that. But that's not what I wanted to do. So what I did was to, I modified the system to where I could get the excess strap to weave through it. And I'll show you that in just a couple minutes. So what I had to do was to take this little stop piece and cut it off and then take a lighter 
and go ahead and heat that up so it doesn't fray. The reason for that is that I want to weave this thing through. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to take it off the way they have it. And then what I do now is I take this buckle totally off. I go in from here. I go underneath up through the other mount on the other side. Thus giving me a two point system right here. As you can see here. Now, what you want to do is now to take your buckle, you want to take this buckle right here and refit it through where you want it to go. And the cool thing is you can adjust this for any bag that you're using, and that's why I think this idea is going to work out really well. Just for now, I'm going to set it on a, on a guessing by golly spot. Now, what you can see is I lock this into place, and I have now achieved a double connection point that I can go like that. Not that big a deal to do. It was pretty simple. Now, what I do is I feed the excess strap back through here, because I want to get rid of all the slack and anything like that now there's a little keeper system that they use to take up the excess slack for the shoulder strap what I did is use it so it sits just like this now you can see I'm pulling pretty hard on this so I'm not really worried about having any issues with it mounting it on these two hold down points. Now, now the next thing you want to do is to mount the two arms and that's pretty simple. Just screw them in. Okay. The basic setup right now is done. Okay. Now what I want to do is to rig up this Seattle deck bag. Now one of the things that you have to have is it has to have a stiffener inside the deck bag for this process to work. So the Advanced Elements deck bag and the Seattle deck bag both can withstand weight on the top. So the question was, is okay, how am I going to connect this? And that's, that is the question here. So first of all, I point it to where the deck bag is facing the way I would be in the boat. And then I do a preliminary mount right here. Now, this is how I used to do it. You can see it just sits up there that's not going to work so what I wanted to do was figure out a way to hook this to where it'll stay one of the things I did is I take this little feeder line and I feed it through here and clip it into place you see that right here now this side is connected I want to do the same thing here and then you can cinch them up and as you can see it's there but it's not hundred percent tight yet so I just loosen this buckle and I want to cinch this thing up so what I'll do is take some of the slack out of here but I don't want too much pressure there and then tighten this up lock the clasp in place still have some slack here so I want to pull this up. Now once this is preset for the bag, you only have to do this once. So that makes it kind of cool. Now take that excess cable, run it through the keeper. Now once you get it run through the keeper, you've got this. It isn't going to fall, as you can see here. Now, I have had some cases where I do get a little bit nervous still because I've had some issues. I had some extra uh, bungee cord and I fabricated 
a couple of hooks to help keep the front down. So all I did is I take this, wrap it one time around, take it and lock it into place. And you just locate it where you want it. Now, as you can see, we're already definitely secure. Still not enough. I want one more thing to do. Now, the lashing on the Seattle deck bag really works cool because I can take it and kind of clip it around that leg and clip it around that leg. Now I'm going to show you something really cool. This is not going to fall off your boat. So I've got this one rigged exactly the way I want it. Now what we're going to do is rig your camera gear. One of the things you'll see that this arm here is in the way. However, all of these are adjustable. So all you do is kick it to the side and up and then kick this one to the side and up now the next thing I do is I set my quick release system and I mount it to the ball head mount just click it into place and I take and this is a Nikon P900 camera and lock that into place you can see right now that part's all set now but we still have the gimbals that I want to mount so the first thing I got to do is get them to where it'll clear the camera like that now I grab the gimbals and get them to where they clear the lens as you can see here so what I do is I test it I just power on and see if anything is in the way okay that's good that one's mounted and the next one is the other gimbal this one because of the camera you have to get a little bit more inventive as far as the mount location so it's best to mount it when it's out like this and then adjust the arm to work the way you want it to work now you want your power buttons for your wearable gimbals to be accessible and there you have it so you power on your gimbal and then you can adjust because you want to shoot out to the side of the boat that's what you want right here power on this gimbal and do the same thing want to adjust to the side now you're shooting video on both sides you have your DSLR right here now the cool thing is as you're boating on down uh, you hit the quick release and your camera now is handheld just kick it back into place like that and hit the locking pin and then adjust your your head the way you want it and there you go you have this this setup is rigged all right guys there you have it this is rigged for the Seattle deck bag um, I've got some security um, additional security added here it's not tight but if something does happen but look at this I mean it's not going to fall off your boat so what we're going to do is take this rig and now we're going to mount it on the kayak itself this will be a non-water test but we're going to I have the uh, my advanced elements kayak is inflated right now so we're going to mount it now I mount the deck bag exactly the same way as I do when I take it out you got these mount straps over here I have two little spring clips spring clip hooks it's been sewn in to here so it won't break loose on me or stay and I just take that clip that into place tighten it down I have carabinas on this end to hook to the 
D-rings at the forward end. I do the same thing here. Normally, I would not mount the DSLR on this deck bag system until it's on the water. I put that into a dry bag, then when I'm on the water, then I go ahead, put it in, and lock it into place, if that's what I'm going to shoot with. Now the other thing I do, which I'll show you right now, okay. if I'm going to handhold shoot that day, but I want video, you can see here, is I have mounted my camcorder with two electronic gimbals, and you want to set this up to where this swings out a little bit further, like that, so you can get your inspection window open. So as you can see here, I've got this gimbal can be in operation. This gimbal being that the DSLR has been, has been changed to the Handycam, I can readjust this up. And that's what makes this so cool. And then now I have flexibility to put my Handycam or camcorder, whatever you're using. And you can see this rig system will not fall off your boat. Now, is it going to rock? Of course it is. And that's the reason for the electronic gimbals. But it's not going to fall off the boat. And that's the important thing. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We got the first bag, and that's the Seattle deck bag. We got that one all rigged up. It works. Mounted it on the kayak. Uh, it's going to work really well. Now, this Advanced Elements deck bag, I've used this thing now for about two years. It's really excellent. When you use the big DSLR, the mouth of this is too small. But if you're using like a Canon SX60 or something like that, or a smaller uh, bridge camera, point and shoot, whatever, you can zip it right in here, and it's right accessible, right in front of you. And, you know, typical dry bag stuff, so you really got some good features here. However, I ran into the same problem with this one. To rig this thing up, it's, it's almost the same, which the difference is, is this thing sits right underneath the legs. So it's going to be easier to mount up. So you have a D-ring on this end that I use as a connection point, but I don't want to use up this hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on the webbing side like this and clip it in just like that. That one's good. Now, the other one has the same kind of a system and feed it through the loop there, lock it into place. So basically, the deck bag is locked, as you can see. I, whoops. So as you can see, the deck bag is locked. It's locked into place, it ain't going anywhere, and then actually it's gonna sit on the the uh, bow of the boat which is going to add more stability so I shouldn't have any fallover problems. So what we're going to do now is go over and mount this to the front of the Advanced Elements uh, Sport and see how it hooks up. So you can see there's the deck of the boat and when you go out to your launch site I mount it the same way as I do the other deck bags, I take the S carabiner clip here, click. I take the one here and I connect it to the D ring at the aft end of the uh, deck bag. That's all in place. Now I'm going to adjust the legs to where I want them, to where it'll sit good on the boat. Mounting on the deck bag has shown me another issue. What I'm going to do here is just secure this front leg to the D-ring here. Now I'm not worried about this at all. It should work really well. I'm going to mount the DSLR here in just a minute. But as you can see, a slightly different rigging system. I did use the, uh, the hook system here to loop around one of the balls to get this thing, but trust me, this is not going to fall off the boat. No more. Now you have some extra rigging in here. If you want to use that to feed these legs through, you can do that. 
it might be a, an actually a pretty good idea, but I don't really think you, you need to do that. You have some extra rigging on the deck. You can drop the leg and loop it around that leg and do the same thing here. And loop it around that leg. Now there is no way that that is coming off the boat. Absolutely none. So if I'm going to use the DSLR now, now when you use the DSLR, you'll note some of this stuff gets in the way. Like this ho-hem. Just lay it down to the side. So as you can see, it mounts really, really good. And I mean, it is not coming off. It is just not going to come off. I really like this idea. This is really cool. But I did use a bungee double hook system here. Wrap around one leg. I kind of dropped it into the rigging down here. And the same thing on the other side. I used the modified strap system to connect the other two pieces so you don't have it falling off and it's actually secured to the bag itself. So as you can see, I'm really rocking this thing. It ain't going anywhere. So one of the things you want to do is make sure that your, your legs are secure down here. Double strap system here, which makes everything lock into place. Here I can get both gimbals going on. I can shoot with the DSLR or I can shoot with my camcorder system. Uh, I like this because I should be able, and I don't know yet, I will do this on the onboard test when I'm on the lake, but I should be able to release this while sitting in the boat, but it looks like it's going to be too far forward, so that may not work. So this may be used for a camcorder. Uh, it could actually be used for your DSLR if you're going to shoot video for like off the front of the boat and you want to zoom in, then yeah, this would work out really well. Hey guys, that was fun. And we figured out a way to MacGyver the Gorillapod rig upgrade to my existing 5K Joby. And the reason I wanted to do this is I have never been able to take multiple cameras with me unless I'm wearing it on my hat or something like that out on my sit-in side sport or sit inside uh, in advanced element kayaks. Now I have like three or four or five of them. And one of the things that, that I couldn't do was to be able to mount one of my uh, gimbals for cameras securely on the deck. And yeah, I've done it a few times. Uh, we actually had one go in the water. Fortunately, I was able to save it. Um, so I had to come up with a way, how can, I, how can I get video on both sides, be able to shoot my DSLR stuff or my camcorder stuff and all of that, all at the same time, right up in front of the boat while I'm paddling. Now, how cool is that? I think the Joby Gorillapod uh, rig update is really, really, really gonna work. Now, this is part one of two, the next thing, I'm going to take it out on the water. I'll be taking it out with the uh, Advanced Element Sport. And I'll be testing that on the deck bag, probably the Seattle deck bag, because I want to be able to transport the big camera in the deck bag. And unfortunately, because of my uh, lens support ring for the Nikon P900, I can't get it to fit inside the, uh, the Advanced Elements deck bag unless I take the support ring off. Then it fits. So, hey, I'll make that decision when I go out there. Also, we've got rain, lots of rain. It's been raining for like seven, eight days straight. And they say it's not gonna let up until Wednesday or Thursday. Today is Sunday. So I don't know when I'm gonna get out. So stay tuned for part two. We'll see you out there.